Now that the support for Assassin's Creed Origins has died down significantly, it's a good time to look at the future. In this video, I want to dive deep into why I think something new for Assassin's Creed in 2018 makes a ton of sense, looking at the complete slate of Ubisoft games coming in the next year, also at the development of Assassin's Creed games over the years now, and way more. So if you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated, and let's go! We will take a look at the upcoming Ubisoft games and why it makes sense that one of the four upcoming titles is an Assassin's Creed game. But first, let's take a look at the franchise as a whole and why it makes a ton of sense that we will see something this year. One thing that kind of starts this conversation is why and the support for Origins. Ubisoft is really moving into the live services direction as you see in their slide during their financial report as well. That means that they want to support titles for a very long time after launch. And we see that with Rainbow Six Siege, For Honor getting another year of support and also Ghost Recon Wildlands just got their year 2 pass with a ton of content coming to the game every quarter. So why end the support for one of your biggest games then? Assassin's Creed Origins, the number 3 bestseller of 2017 in some of the regions. Well, I think because they got something else planned, while a new For Honor and Ghost Recon game are not in the near future. Let's not forget that Ubisoft always releases an Assassin's Creed in the fall since Assassin's Creed 2. Even in their one year break, they released the Ezio collection with all the three Ezio games on the PS4 and Xbox One in November. Heck, there was even an Assassin's Creed movie at the beginning of 2016 as well. So let me ask you this, why would Ubisoft after the successful release of Origins with the great post-launch content plan, with a ton of recurring revenue from their microtransactions in the game, they note that they get a lot of profit from the item packs for example, why would they suddenly say, oh, let's not continue this trend, let's not release something new for Assassin's Creed Origins and then just wait till fall 2019 to release a completely new game. While in the 10 years that Assassin's Creed is a thing, they did otherwise. You might say, yeah, but this makes Assassin's Creed special again, releasing one every other year instead of every year. And I think that would be a smart tactic for sure as well, but I think that annualizing the series makes way more more financial sense for Ubisoft. The Assassin's Creed series sold over 100 million units in September 2016, so before the release of Origins, and that would not have been achieved if they did not release a new title every year. It worked for so long and it's also like in line with what they want Assassin's Creed to be, more on that a little later. Another argument I sometimes see is that they did not have enough time to make this new game, but that is false because when they decided to move Assassin's Creed Origins by one year, the other Assassin's Creed game that was probably in development already as well got moved by one year as well. They moved the whole plan one year up. So that means that the other Assassin's Creed game also has a four year development cycle or three year depending on what studio is making it. So it will be ready for this year for sure. Remember that they also did the extra development time for Origins to create the new combat system to introduce the RPG elements that are now in place and ready to use for the next Assassin's Creed games, let alone the assets they used in Origins as well that can be used for a new game in Greece for example. Looking at this slide released during the GDC panel about Assassin's Creed development, you get a clear idea about the multiple core teams working on the series, and that some teams have been silent since the release of Unity, or what is Ubisoft Quebec up to after the launch of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So they had this huge yearly release plan in place that shifted with Origins because it got delayed, so I think it makes more sense that they move everything by one year instead of then releasing a new game every other year. Also interesting is this slide showing you the different studios like Sovia, the people that made Assassin's Creed Rogue, that actually made one big giant area in Assassin's Creed Origins. They also made the Curse of the Varos DLC, showing you that Ubisoft has a ton of teams in place to make a new Assassin's Creed title. The amount of studios that Ubisoft has working on this franchise also I think shows that if they wanted to release another DLC for Origins, they 
probably could have done that, yet they decide to end the support. And what is also in the DNA from Ubisoft, what they want Assassin's Creed to be, and they also talked about this during GDC, is that they want this series to be one of the best and largest entertainment IPs in the industry. And a new game every year helps with that. It makes the series more popular because more people know about it because it's there every year. And this was in their DNA in 2010 when they talked about like doing more transmedia stuff. And it's still in their DNA right now because they're doing the Assassin's Creed movie. Comics are going on right now. And what is interesting about these comics, as noted by AZ Creed comments on Reddit, is that they got delayed multiple times, the comics. But the second issue just released on April 11th, we got the third issue on May 9th, 2018, and the fourth and final issue is set to release on June 6th, 2018. So by the way, it got delayed like multiple times. The last delay was, I think, from end of May to early June. So it's interesting that they still like delay it a lot of times, but it still is early June and mid-June is E3 when last year Ubisoft announced Assassin's Creed Origins at the Xbox E3 show. So is this coincidence or do they want to get the comics out before they start talking about the next game? I thought it was interesting either way. And of course, we also have the many hints in Origins itself. Stuff I mentioned in my mysteries from the Curse of the Varos DLC video that Greece could be the next setting, that there was trouble in Judea as well. Bayek's story also does not seem finished at all in the game and of course we had the rumors of Origins being a trilogy before the game was supposed to launch. And with all the things pointing towards a sequel for Bayek, I think a release this year would make more sense just like we saw with the Ezio trilogy also releasing a year after each other. Of course I can't ignore the answer from the Ubisoft CEO saying that we would be amazed by what would come to Origins on the question if AC would return to its annual release strategy. Me and many others took this as more stuff is coming to Origins instead of a new game. I mean, what I said in my video is that they were hyping up a big future for the game and they were with that quote. You could also see it as him dodging the question, not wanting people to lose focus of Origins if they knew something new would come in 2018 as well. I mean, in his quote, he never said, no, we're not going to release a new Assassin's Creed game this year. So like I said, it all makes a ton of sense that we will see something from Assassin's Creed in 2018. I mean, they also hired just recently a new community developer for Assassin's Creed. And why do it right now if you have no plans for 2018? Doesn't make sense at all. I think it's also interesting to look at what games has Ubisoft planned for 2018 and early 2019 so we can see that there might be a spot for Assassin's Creed there as well. Ubisoft wants to release four AAA games in the fiscal year 2019 and that is ending in March 2019. So you could say that everything, all these four games will release before April 2019. Because if you're not familiar, a fiscal year starts in April of the year and ends in March of the year after that. So between April 2018 and April 2019, Ubisoft will release four AAA games, including The Crew 2 and Skull and & Bones, and also two unannounced titles. Now we know that Ubisoft also has The Division 2 coming, they announced it recently and will show more at E3 2018 in June. So you could say yes, this is coming before April 2019, but I think this is not the case, and here is why. So Far Cry 5 was first slated to hit in the end of February, and then was moved to late March, and The Crew 2 also got pushed from March until June 29th, 2018. Then also they delayed one unannounced game that was initially planned for the release before April 2019, to the next physical year. So now it's slated to release between April 2019 and March 2020. And with that change, they also decreased their forecast of 28 million units sold between April 2018 and April 2019 to 23 million units sold. So that means that this unannounced franchise game that got pushed was good for way more than 5 million units in sales. Because like I said, The Crew 2 moved into this new window, so they decreased the uh, forecast while they added The Crew 2 to the lineup. And the original The Crew sold 2 million units, so I expect this one to do 3 million units for the sake of it, meaning that this unannounced title they pushed was good for 8 million units 
in the physical year. So with the division being Ubisoft's biggest launch ever, I think it's a safe bet that this unannounced title that got pushed to a launch after March 2019 is The Division 2. It's hard to think of any other title that would move 8 million units in a relatively short period of time. Meaning that while The Division 2 will be shown at E3, it will likely launch later than March 2019 giving us still two unannounced titles to work with. And since we already got a new IP with Skull and Bones and the Crew 2 that will likely be on the lower end in terms of sales as well, I think the other two unannounced games should be heavy hitters to be able to hit that 23 million goal that they set for 2019, that physical year. And I think there are only three options, not counting Beyond Good and Evil 2 because that is still far, far off. I think one unannounced title will probably be a new Splinter Cell game. It was already leaked on Amazon, they just released the Ghost Recon DLC with the famous character, so it seems like Ubisoft is gearing up for a new release and this could totally be a game that would release in this physical year for sure. And then we got one title left and it could really be Watch Dogs 3. I mean the first one released in 2014, the second one in 2016, so 2018 for a new one makes sense. But on the other hand, this series is in a tough spot right now. Watch Dogs 2 did not set the world on fire, it sold less than Ubisoft expected, missing their projections for the holiday season. So you could say that it's a make or break for the series this next game. If the third one is not a success, then this series might be put on hold for a while or might never return. I find it hard to believe that you then want to release a new game so close to the second title and also in a very crowded time with Red Dead Redemption 2 getting the full open world spotlight. Making it smarter for Ubisoft to do the Origins approach and wait an extra year to make the game even better and then release it later. So if I had to guess, if Ubisoft was smart, I would say wait with the release of Watch Dogs 3 to make sure that when you release it, you really knock it out of the park. And if that theory is true, it leaves us with one unannounced game from Ubisoft Ubisoft between April 2018 and March 2019. So I think you agree right, a new Assassin's Creed game is totally not out of the realm of possibility for 2018. I mean, I think it can be for sure that Ubisoft will at least do something with the franchise this year, like they did every year since Assassin's Creed 2. Maybe it will be something simple like Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, but I think a new game or at least a big substantial title like a $40 Judea expansion could totally be in the cards. Of course, nothing is confirmed at this point. This is just me speculating based on a ton of research and info that is out there. But I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I will be going to E3, so if there will be a new Assassin's Creed game, I will totally be bringing you all the info and gameplay you need. But if not, then I will have a ton of other content, of course, about the convention. Anyway, when we know more about a next Assassin's Creed game, I will, of course, let you know. So subscribe for everything Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed Origins. Check out my video on new features that we might see in a future game. And drop a like to support the channel. I will speak to you next time and goodbye.